Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads video tutorial. Today we are going to go through on how to grant access to somebody on your Google Ads account. So let's say that you want to invite a freelancer, you want to invite a team member. How can you do that? Before we do that, make sure that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content and off we go. So there are two interfaces at the moment. The old interface, which is the one that you are looking at, and a new one. Starting with the old interface, you are going to log in to your Google account. You are going to log in in your Google Ads account. <coughs> you are going to log in in your Google Ads account. Then you are going to go and click on Tools and Settings. Then you are going to click on Access and Security under the Setup column. So you go Tools and Settings under the Setup column, Access and Security. Under Access and Security, you are going to stay here that says Users. You are going to click the plus symbol. And here, what you need to do is you need to insert the email address of the freelancer or the stakeholder or your colleague. So let me actually insert my email address. And what you need to do here is you need to choose the access level. So whether this is going to be an admin, standard access, and so forth. The most typical access for freelancers is standard access. This will allow people to make changes, manage the account, but it will not allow them to mess with the billing and invite other people. And then you're going to click send invitation. Now, now, if you press on send invitation and it doesn't work, you get an error message. Then what you need to do is you need to go to security. So you're going to come here and go to security and you are going to allow certain URLs to be uh, basically part of your Google Ads account. So you're going to click on security. You are going to go to allow domains all the way in the bottom. And then you're going to say that I allow, for example, gmail.com or I allow, for example, let's say xyzlab.com. And you're going to add these domains. You're going to save. And then you're going to go back to users and you're going to repeat this process. So once again, for those of you who go to add the user and you get an error message, then you need to go to security. From there, you need to scroll down. You need to click on allow domains. You need to insert the domain without the HTTPS www, just the domain name .com, .co, and so forth. You're going to save. Once you save, you go to users. Then again, you click the plus symbol. You add the email address. You give the access level, you select the access level, and that's it. For those of you who are using the new interface, let's go to the new design. So what you need to do is once you come here to Google Ads, let's start from scratch. So let's say we access our account. We're going to go on the left-hand side. We're going to click on admin. Then we're going to go to access and security from the left-hand side column. And the process here is exactly the same. So first, you need to go to security. You need to scroll all the way down and you need to insert the allowed domains. Then you're going to come here to users. You're going to click the plus symbol. You're going to type in the email address of the stakeholder that you want to add. You're going to select the access level, save, and that's it. That's how you can grant access to other people on your Google Ads account. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you solved the problem. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.